God bless you indeed, everybody. So, um, here's your Friday word. Um, the Bible says that my people perish for the lack of knowledge. Amen. The book of Proverbs says, get wisdom and with all you're getting, get understanding. Whatever we are facing or the body of Christ is facing is an issue between wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Wisdom is the application of the knowledge and the understanding you, you, you acquire. Amen. But um, sorry about that. What I'm saying today is that um, what I'm saying today is that we need the wisdom of God to fulfill the task that the Lord Jesus Christ has placed upon our lives. Amen. Many people in the body of Christ are crying out for finances. Many people in the body of Christ are operating under the spirit of poverty. They don't get it understand. And I want to say that if you got a problem with finances, then please give way to the other people who need the word of the Lord and who need help in their finances. Amen. Psalm 107 verse 20 says he sent his word and healed them and he healed them from their destruction. Amen. The word of the Lord can deliver, it can heal, and it can set free. Amen. So we need the word of the Lord. Isaiah 10, 27 says, And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulders and his yoke off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Amen. So the anointing is going to be ever present today for that yoke of poverty where it feels like you're laboring but you're seeing nothing where it feels like you're in a vicious cycle of lack and insufficiency all the time and you don't get it understand what's going on but I want you to understand that their spiritual powers contesting your breakthrough. The Bible says in John 10, 10, the thief comes to kill, to steal and to destroy. Amen. Satan is a thief. Amen. He's a thief. He's a destroyer. Amen, my brothers and sisters. So what am I saying to you today? Is that whom the sun sets free is free indeed. The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword, amen. Piercing to divide the sun, the bone, and the mind is a discerner of the thoughts, the heart. We need the word of God. We need to hear from the Lord. And this is why God would use a mouthpiece, amen. Or he speak to you through his word, he use a prophet, he use someone so that you can be liberated from whatever circumstance you're going through because he's a loving father, amen. So we're talking about finances today and on Fridays um, is a day we have dedicated to the Lord Jesus Christ for people to give and to poke their heart. Some of you, the Lord Jesus Christ have put some great assignments on your life, your kingdom financiers. You, 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 you've been doing what you're supposed to do. You're tithing, you're giving to the Lord, you're doing, but you still can't get it understand why it seems like you, every time you take 10 steps forward, the enemy pulls you 10 steps back because I said, the thief comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Amen. But I got a word for you today. And I want you to understand something. I am encouraging you today to give. To give generously. And cheerfully. Because I want you to seal this word today with a seed. You're not paying for the word. You're not paying for miracle. 
but your seed is going to seal your obedience. We're not in the days where we, we, we as said, you know, killing new lambs and, 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 and doves, etc. Jesus is the one, is the living sacrifice, amen. But we still bring our seed to the Lord Jesus Christ in obedience. Now, this is a huge topic and a huge subject. I just want to be as brief as I could. So I'm barely touching surfaces. Amen. I'm encouraging you to break the yoke and to break that spirit. The spirit of poverty. Now, we know that this is a deep subject because it has in some cases to do with, with um, how you budget and manage, etc. But we are dealing with the spirit. Because many of God's people are doing what is right. And they can't get it to understand what's wrong. Because we have an invisible enemy. Who would try to keep you in ignorance. As long as you allow him to keep you in ignorance. But thanks be to God. That the Holy Spirit is our helper. And he will show us all things. Amen. He will lead us into all truth. So I want to pray for you right now and I'm giving you an a, a opportunity to open up your hearts. Now, me and you are two different people. I know what the Lord Jesus Christ has placed upon my life. If God has given me an assignment, for example, because I, I don't want to reveal everything that will involve lots of eventually lots of millions, etc. To, 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 to for his kingdom, etc. I'm going to give generously. Because often in the body of Christ, many people have this thing that God is like a lottery. You put in one pound fifty, you spin the ball, and there you go cashing a check for ten billion. Amen. Treating God like the lottery. And there are many a times that the Lord Jesus Christ has said to me that many of the people in his body can give. They have it, they can give. One time the Lord said to me, Look at it. I said, Look at what? The Lord said, do you realize that? Look at my children. They would go through any length or depth to go and buy a car, to go and buy a house, to go and get a mortgage. But they struggle to do the same thing for his kingdom and for his glory. They will struggle. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh. Let something come up now when they need a new house. Oh, they know about that though. Amen. Hallelujah. So our hearts and our minds need changing when it comes to the things of God. Amen. Sometimes there are many people, oh, I don't know about that. But if somebody knock on your door and give you, oh, look, I'm going to give you a check for 20 minutes. Oh, wow. Suddenly now you know about it. Oh, you don't know about giving. But you know about receiving. Amen. So as I begin to pray for you today. I pray. That you will take some serious steps in faith. It is Jesus Christ you are focusing on. Not me. I am only the mailman. The messenger. But as I bring the word. I pray that you will join your faith. With a faith seed. That you will. You will. You will. You. There is a saying that goes. Sometimes. You've, you've got to do something you've never done before. To go where you've never been before. And I'm a living testimony of that. And I've shared it many times in how I can sincerely prove that giving has brought me out of many circumstances. Many circumstances. Me and my wife, we refused at, at some point in times to give like hundreds and stuff. We began to give thousands. And we have seen the word of God manifest as truth. That's all I'm saying. Glory be to God. We have witnessed it. Yes, since then, we've been, you know, years back, we've been through some roller coasters. We know there's seasons of drought, etc. But you need to, to discern like the sons of Ishakar, the times and the season. You need to discern. 
when the thief comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, according to Isaiah 10, 27, I pray over the listener right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I take authority in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, for it is written whatsoever is bound on earth is bound in heaven, loose on earth is loose in heaven, and I bind that spirit. I bind those curses that are stealing from you. I break the power off of your finances. I break the powers off of your life in the name of Jesus. I command that evil mark on your life to be destroyed by reason of the anointing in Jesus name. And I command you in the name of Jesus Christ right now to move forward, move forward and possess everything that the Lord has called you to begin to move in and inherit every blessing, including financial blessings. I break the yoke of poverty off of your neck through the power of the Holy Ghost. I break the yoke of lack, struggling, hand to mouth. Break in Jesus' name and do not return again forevermore. In Jesus name, I bless you. And the Lord is showing me right now in the spirit. And I haven't posted this video yet. How many people are beginning to prosper. And beginning to see people prosper like wildfire. Amen. Um, the Lord is showing me people prospering like wildfire. Before. He began to show me that vision as I'm speaking to you, because for those of you um, who are familiar with me, I see in the in the spirit, you know, um, to see in the spirit realm is like, you know, the Lord have given me the grace to to see, um, you know, just like looking at your hand like this, Amen. But of course, it's through the Holy Spirit, so I see. Um, what in the in in this time will call be a seer, so I see a lot. Um, in the spiritual realm, and I saw as I as I was praying for you just now how I saw a field, and it looked like a farmer's or, or it looked like agricultural ground, but I noticed as I was as I, as I zoom in in the spirit. It was only like some, maybe a row of flowers or something like that, sunflowers on one side of the field. And after I began to pray for you, I noticed as I looked, the whole field, the whole field, we're talking about acres, could be hundreds of acres, thousands of acres, was, was filled, was filled, was filled. With flowers, I mean filled, because before it looked like drought, but then after it was filled, the Lord said, there are going to be many testimonies, many testimonies of people permanently coming out of poverty and never returning again forevermore. Many testimonies. Don't forget, go to www.tngministries.uk. If you're new to this ministry and as many Romans 8, 14, as I, as many as are led by the spirit of God are the sons of God. The reason at times I, uh, the Lord has given me the gift to push people to give is because poverty is a mindset. Part of poverty correction is a mindset. If you believe only giving God sometimes a pound, only two dollars. You will find that often when you break that threshold and you begin to step out of that mindset, you begin to give cheerfully, you begin to trust God with, with, with your finances and begin some, sometimes to move into to realms of giving like man have never seen before. You, be, you also begin to receive like you've never received before. Amen. If finances are so bad, why do you need them to pay your bills? Why do you need them to put food on the table? 
Why do you need them to put gas in your car? Why do you need them to travel from point A to B if they're so bad? Amen. The problem is your mindset, your attitude towards finances needs an upgrade. You need a fresh download. You're operating on the an uh, 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 old update, an uh, old software. I think even most iPhones are on iPhone 13 or iPhone 14. I think iOS 13 or 14. You are on, not iOS. You are you are on given 0.1. Amen. So you need a new download. You need a new upgrade, a new update. If money is so bad. How on earth are you going to be able to execute the task that the Lord has given you? Feeding the poor, the homeless, the less fortunate, all these things because it's so bad. Hey, everybody want to rob me. That in itself is a demon. I sincerely believe, believe as I, uh, that, that, that that is a spirit. It's a lying, deceiving spirit. And the spirit keeps you bound. By getting you to believe that money is so bad. That's how it holds you in its stronghold. It makes you oppose the same very thing that you need. Ooh. Oh, thank you, Jesus. It makes you oppose the same very thing that you are desperately in need of. Shalom and love. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and establish you in his shalom.